Hello, and welcome to Godox Film Lighting 101. For this episode, we'll be looking at a few different ways on how you can light a face. Let's check it out. In filmmaking, there are infinite ways to light an actor's face. The lighting can establish the mood of the scene and also help complement the emotion of the character. Okay, so for this setup, we wanted to make the lighting very dramatic. And I'm a big fan of old war films, and this location looked like an old bunker. So we're gonna use that to our advantage, and we're gonna use Godox lights to help shape the texture and layer throughout the scene. So another thing that really helps complement the lighting is to use a lens that really matches the era of whatever it is you're shooting. So a lot of these old vintage anamorphic lenses have a ton of character and the older the lens, the more character is usually how it works. So that's one way to help the historical aesthetic of your film. So when placing your subject, always look for an area where there's a lot of depth. And I like this area because this hallway was, goes all the way back here and we're shooting into a corner and the corner allows for more dimension within your scene. So always look for a corner whenever you're trying to place your subject where you need to. And uh, the other thing about this spot is this little cutout right here allows us to put a light in here and really make it motivated on the subject side of the face right here. So now that we've placed our subject, it's time to add our key light. So come on back here, I'll show you what we did. So in this little narrow corridor, I wanted to add an RGB light. So the Godox SZ150R was the perfect choice. So this light, I'm able to dial the hue and the saturation perfectly. So I went with a greenish yellow tint to hit off this brick wall right here. And what this light is doing is it's hitting off this. It's definitely highlighting the texture along this wall and then it's spilling onto our subject. But the problem is it was spilling too much onto the subject and it was highlighting both sides of his face. So in order to control that, I wanted to add a Godox 5-in-1 reflector. This is the black side. And what this is doing is it is absorbing all the excess light, which helps control the shadows and the contrast across his face. So now that we've established our key light on our subject, it was time to create depth in the background. So the first thing we wanted to do was add two Godox TL60s. And we took these lights and placed them across the ground right here. And what these lights are doing is they're illuminating all the texture of the brick wall really nicely. I think it looks really cool. So um, these lights are really nice because you can also use the Godox light app and you can control and modify exactly what you need. You can turn them on, off. You can adjust the hue, saturation, brightness, anything that you want to really dial in your shot. And so for the next light that we added, this is really where the corner comes into play. So we wanted to take a Godox S60 focusing light. And this light's really cool because you can dial in exactly the focus that you want as hard or soft or as blurred out or sharp as you need it. And uh, what we did here is we added a gobo of a window and you just slide one of these guys in here and dial in your shot the way that you need to and it helps create realism within your scene. So one thing you're gonna run into a lot when shooting on location is these exit signs. They are everywhere. So um, once we had our shot set up, we thought everything looked good, but it was casting this really weird red light. We didn't know where it was coming from. Well, it was coming from the exit sign. So one thing you can do is you can grab a C stand with a black flag. And what this is doing is it's gonna cover up the exit sign. So whenever I have the subject right here, there's no more red light being cast on our subject. Scan with your eyes. Keep your eyes right there, but just keep scanning like you're looking for something. Okay, great. I know it's super awkward. <laughs> 
To create the illusion of our character looking out a window with very thin blinds, we used the Godox S60 with the lens projection attachment. I inserted a gobo with very thin blinds to create the shadow effect that we needed. The idea here was to have her eyes right in between the blinds as if she's looking outside. Oh, that's perfect right there. Wait, lean forward again. Right there. Yes, hold that, right hold that. Eyes, exactly. Hold that, hold that. Oh okay, that's God. great. With the S60, you're able to control how big or how small your light is on your subject or environment. And in this case, we're creating a really wide beam and the gobo through the lens projection attachment is able to give us precise focus exactly how we want it. For this instance, we wanted to make it look like her eyes were right in between the blinds. The flexibility of the Godox TL60 tube lights allows you to place these lights pretty much anywhere out of your shot. So we chose to place them in this little cubby back here just to create the illusion of a little bit more depth, but also make this shot seem a little more moody and sinister because it is for a horror film. So using lights like the TL60, because there's so many of them, usually whenever I'm behind the camera, I can't really get to them, especially when I'm in a tight space. So using something like the app just allows me to turn them on and I'm ready to go. So for this shot, I wanted to slowly dolly the camera in towards the subject's face. But seeing as we're in a really narrow hallway, the Godox TL30 was actually a perfect go-to light to give her a little bit more moonlight illumination across her face. So because we're creating a horror scene, we definitely wanted to use a hazer. It helps create volumetric lighting and also the light beams that we wanted for the texture of the scene. For this setup, we wanted to create a high key look for a documentary type interview scene, something with really nice soft lighting on the subject. So the perfect thing for that is a Godox QRP120 softbox. This thing is great because of its size, it's massive. It allows for tons of soft light to spill across the subject, which is perfect for what we needed. The diffusion fabric of the softbox makes it a really nice soft eye light for your subject. I really like the size of this softbox just because of the area that it can cover. It's got quick release tabs inside, which makes it a breeze to work with. It's really easy to set up and take down, unlike most softboxes this size. And another great thing about this softbox is that it has a Bowens mount, so it easily attaches to a light like a Godox VL300. So from here, we have a Godox LD150R, and this light is serving as our backlight. And this helps give her an extra added contrast to her backside, which pulls her away from the background. I've added the softbox with the grid attachment. This helps soften the light on the backside of the subject and also keeps the light contained just to keep it right where we need it without it spilling all over the environment. I can even adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness all within the app. Even though we're just focusing on lighting the face, looking at your background is also very important. So for this, we have the Godox S60 and a lens projection attachment that's casting a beam across this wall behind the subject just to give the shot a little more interest. I even added a Godox Gobo with a window frame to cast a shadow of a window onto the wall. So when you're lighting a face for a documentary setup, one thing to keep in mind is the quality of light. So we have a lot of soft light going on over here, but on this side, we wanna keep it darker just because we want more contrast. We wanna make it a little more interesting and add a little bit more mood to our shot. Hopefully some of these techniques will help you the next time you need to light a face for filmmaking. Godox offers a one-stop solution for all your filmmaking needs. From lights, to monitors, to audio, to stands, to grip and staging essentials, they've definitely thought of everything. Also, be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Godox Film Lighting 101. We'll see you next time. Until then, happy filmmaking.